Um, he's at every tournament. Except at a town, at a state tournament, man, he can't hold, he can't hang. You know what it is, man. Funds are funds, you know. You got what you got to do. And we, hey, guys, in the comments right there, shout out. Comment. Tell us if you got a job for Game Genie. He's looking, he needs a job. Yes. Let us know. Gamers, Let us know. Gamers, hire Game Genie. I'm tired of you guys hating on my dude, all right? GameStop, too. Somebody hire Game Genie, all right? He probably knows more about video games than most of the people who work at Gamers and GameStop. Somebody guys, real talk, guy. Game Genie, this is 100% this is serious. Game Genie is looking for a job, so if you guys know any of, of any, hit the link on the comment box. We'll pass it on to him. Anyways, Game 1, here Let's we go. It. Let's do it. Nate versus Game Genie, Let's this is it. hype. Let's hype. Nate squared, three Oscars, two Nates, one Rodney, SpongeBob, bro. Spongebob. Spongebob. Anyway, he opens up with that fire. He thought that he was in charge. And what is going on here? Guys, we're having technical difficulties with the controllers. And you know what? That's why hey, I don't like the... Play controller. I don't know. Is that for my crib? It's broken if you did. It's the purple. It's the indigo one. It's the only one that matters. And we're having some technical difficulties with Nate's controller. Man. You know, it's... And that's the cons of using uh, 13, 14 year old controllers, man. I, I go gamepad, man. I sit as far back as possible, man. I, I can play you from bed. I can play you at the store, man. I'm all about team gamepad. I'm not with the corners. Now, stuff. this is a real question, Rod. Have you ever used the bathroom while playing on the gamepad? I haven't tried it, but I feel like I'm feeling feeling curious today. It might, it might have to happen. I'm feeling myself. Anyways, here we got um, finally working. Game one started up. Yeah. Ooh, you get with justice. the knee of justice. You get with the knee of justice. You get with the knee of justice, man. I mean, it's gonna happen. If, if, someone, if you find a good Captain Falcon, you're gonna get hit with the knee of justice. You're gonna get Falcon dunk. It's gonna happen. No, Nate's definitely putting on the pressure, but Game Genie's trying to space him out with those spells. Absolutely. Now, if I were Game Genie, what do I need to do here? What do I need to set or make happen in order to keep Captain Falcon away from me? Well, we all know at home what happens with Robin after a while. He's be attacks. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna disappear. They're gonna go bye bye. So what you gotta do as a Robin man, or as even a Robin pocket second, or even whatever you wanna call it, you gotta use your B attacks, man. You gotta you gotta keep him at bay. Nate being straight ruthless right now. Just get in there with those attacks. Right. You game Genie, who, he's not worried about Game Genie and his mysteriousness. He wants. He's hungry. This is one of his first tournaments. Man, and shout out to Oscar Delgado. Word on the street, he said he's weak at Splatoon, but I don't want those issues with him. Guys. Uh, Oscar Delgado saying that he needs some uh, some help getting better at Splatoon. So if you know anybody that is good at Splatoon, go ahead and comment below. Ladies at home, if you want to make it splat, if you want to get inked on, if you want to get inked on by Oscar, let us know in the comments. I'll give you his number. Oscar, he's always available. He takes pictures. He fixes computers. He's cute as hell, man. Anyways, he's splat on you. Actually, he's actually really close up right now. Oh! And that'll do it. That will do it. Anyway, Nate needs to take that sock now before it's too late. But Game Genie's taking on the pressure, making it look easy now. Oh, absolutely. He's making it look really easy. Fun fact about Genie, Genie's not one to do a lot of dodging. He doesn't do a lot of rolls, man. He might do a spot dodge here and there, maybe an air dodge, but he doesn't really see the need to do rolls, man. Yeah, come get we got yeah, confirmation. Jab twice, roll backwards, pivot grab. That's Game Genie's game. All right, so we got Robin at 137%. Nate definitely needs to take that stock. He has He's to take ready. that stock. And there it is. Commentator's curse. He took the stock. Man, every time we said something today, it's, he maybe, takes it. Maybe we should stop saying something. I don't know. Who needs commentators anyway? They don't need us. They know what it is at home. We got Game Genie. Fun fact about me finding him, man. I love to go Link versus his Robin, man. We just try to outcamp each other as much as we can. They're trying to get in there with those good hits. He even say to himself, Link is a definite issue for him. And unfortunately, right now, Captain Falcon is a little bit too fast for Robin. And that dash and grab is very, very broken. I mean, it's. You know, man, it's very I feel scary. like uh, I feel like if, uh, Nate's one of those players that definitely starts heating up at the end on his last stock. Oh yeah. He's definitely those kind of people that, hey, I'm in trouble, I need to make something happen, and he starts rolling double time. He taps into that book. I mean, his knowledge on Smash is vast. I mean, I don't know anybody else who knows as much as he does. I mean, you are gonna, you guys got to respect any knowledge, you're going to get punished. I mean, it just it is what it is. He plays good under pressure, man. Anytime he plays, I'm just going to cue Queen and David Bowie's under pressure. Man, this is this is going to be quite unfortunate for Nate if he loses. Um, I haven't seen him play anybody else besides Captain Falcon. 
And this is why it's important to have a secondary, right? This is why it's important, man, to have good matchup skills. Where one character lacks, another one is better sometimes. Unless you're like Duck Hunt or something, you know? Hey, Duck Hunt is pretty good, man, if you know how to use him. Duck Hunt is good. I played it for God and Duck Hunt. We have confirmation that Duck Hunt is God, according to Spanky J. According to Spanky, Spanky J, J has his shoes off, he so whatever God. he says, it goes. His toes are out. Dropping out. Alright. Man, Game Genie putting on that pressure and oh, it looks like it's it's done. And it's, it's be gonna it? be nope. done. Oh, we got we got Where some DI there. He's not going down without a fight, but you know what though? If he keeps Captain Falcon at distance at bay with those projectiles, it's done. Ooh, a back row would have did it, but I guess he was feeling generous. And oh. And that'll do it. That will do it. Oh man, that it, it looked it looked fairly even at the beginning. Nate was putting on the pressure, but Robin or Game Genie definitely took it away. What do you think Nate has to do in order to? What does he need to change to make this happen? He needs to understand that Robin has what in his hand. He has a book, which means that he's taking a look. It's in a book. It's reading Rainbow. All right. Reading Rainbow, guys. That is very important. And I didn't see too much rolling from Game Genie. You, it doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. There is no rolling. This, there, there you know, no he's, he lives at the laboratory and, and definitely shows. Yeah, oh yeah, it definitely shows. But you know what? Robert has a book in his hand, and like I said, it's, he turned it into reading rainbow. He understood that he was at a speed disadvantage with Captain Falcon. Hit him with the projectiles. He air spaced them really good. He a lot of fares, a lot of dares, a lot of it. You know, he punished him. He did what he had to do. Clay, if you're at home watching, I know you are right now, man. Let us know about the uh, the reverb and the echo, man. We're trying to get it fixed for you guys, so just let us know, man. All right. Anyways, we have uh, a character switch by Nate. He actually switched to Link. I've never seen him play Link, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know. Do you think Link is a good matchup for Robin? Uh, I think it is, man. I mean, they're pretty good, you know, trying to outcamp each other. You know, they're equally strong. You know, sometimes. I know what man, Link's one of those characters that you really have to nerd out, man. You have to have been using Link for a long time, I feel, in order to be good oh, with him. Oh, man. We'll see. <laughs> that was looking kind of tight right there, but he made, he made, the, he made that comeback. What they should know is that Link's grab, I mean, it's gotten buffed. I mean, it's like I said before earlier on the stream, as a Link main, Link Nation, you've always sucked. Now you're even you're remotely good. I think Sakura has an issue with uh, the Legend of Zelda characters. But it's just like that, the disrespect, man. Snipe. The snipe. But you know what? As much as Robin can snipe, Link can snipe right back, dude. Man, this is, I don't, I've, like I said, I've never seen him play uh, Link. And honestly, in my opinion, he should have stayed with Captain Falcon. Not because it's a better matchup, but because he knows how to play the character better. I just feel like if he did a couple tweaks here and there, he would be able to get in better. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. You know, the weird thing about Captain Falcon is that sometimes it doesn't take a lot of, you know, a lot of skill to do a lot of reads with them. But you know what? A character like Link, it's going to take a lot of reads. It's going to take a lot of skills. But you know what? Game Genie is Game, Game Genie. Genie. Oh, my God. He's running away with it. He's denying entry. It's not going to happen. Link has to tap into his projectiles. It just has to happen in order for him to win. He does. He definitely needs to tap into those projectiles, and he's not... He's not doing it, and it's not because he doesn't know how. It's because that he he doesn't play Link often, and like I said earlier, that's gonna cost him. He, he needs, he has you know, to you can't play it because you not know what you're doing. Exactly, and like I said before, man, if you don't use Link's speed attacks or his chain, he's just a weaker Ike with less range. I mean, take it from me, I learned the, long, the hard way. You know, I've been using Link since he had his jab canceled. I tried to challenge Marth, Royce, you know, I've done what I could, but unfortunately, at the end of the day, you gotta use Link's skills to his advantage. You gotta utilize everything. Got a couple up smashes. The force is not going to do it, but man, are we? We have a three stock upon us. We might have a three stock upon us, but you know what though? This might be Nate's first tournament. He knows what he has to work on next time. Everybody gets three stock. Oh, I mean, it happens to the best of us. I've been three stock. Ooh, another fair. He's not going to recover from that. No, he's not going to recover. Nope. No, unfortunately. If he would have grabbed a bomb, that's very unfortunate. If he would have grabbed the bomb, he could have three stock. <laughs> oh, what round is this? Which 
Are we going to semifinals yet or quarters? Yes. And just like that, guys, we're in winner semis, and it's the return of the champion. Q Freddie Mercury on the piano. He is the champion. It's gonna happen. Guys, I'm feeling good. Right now, we got the rock, paper, scissors going on for the neutrals and the bands. You guys know how stressful this can be, especially for two players who, I mean, they're at the peak of their game, and I mean, they're only getting better. So they're, they want to pick a stage for the guy. Yeah, hey, guys, we have, uh, <laughs> we have Meta Knight versus Roy. Meta Knight versus Roy. This should be interesting. What do you Meta Knight's return of the broken champion. It, it is what it is. <laughs> Man, this is not is looking pretty pretty intense here. Hey guys, just like that, we got a Roy. I haven't seen too many Roy's in the tournament, so this is nice. Guys at home, shout out to Clay. Clay, I know we give you a lot of shit, man. I'm only joking with you because you're young. You're, you're a solid dude, man. You introduced me to the UNO uh, Smash scene. One of the first people I played. You're a solid guy, man. We just we give you we give you a lot of we give you a lot of flack, man. It comes with it comes with the title. You know, you know what your position is in the Smash community. You know that you're in charge of who gets ranked what and where. You, Cody, Genie, Rob, whoever else is in charge of the PR, man. Shout out to you guys, man. I was number 10 at one point in time. You know, now I'm not. No salt over here. I cried a little. So it is what it is. All right, man. Here we go. Man, just put, uh, man if Roy puts, puts a, a good attack in there, he's going to get it. Oh, yeah. We all know that. Unfortunately, Meta Knight, he can space really well. But unfortunately for him to kill, he has to get up on Roy. And we know that Roy hits hard up close. That's the only That's the only stick to him. So let's see. I like Roy a lot. I picked him up. I tried to use him, man. You know, it just it is what it is. He's a good character. Man, I'm just watching the Meta Knight. I don't really see that many Meta Knights. No, I don't. It's really nice to see him, man. A lot of people put Meta Knight down since, bro. I mean, he was like the first Diddy. You know? Yeah, he was. He, he, very, he was very, Diddy, uh, man. I, you know, I didn't really understand how broken he was. I played Brawl. I wasn't that great at it. But it wasn't until I seen Mewtwo King use Meta Knight. It was crazy. And man, just like Mewtwo that, King we had the first time. He's a beast with Meta Knight, man. Yeah, he is. Roy excels, like Clay says at home, he excels at up close combat. I mean, it's just, it has to happen from Roy. Unfortunately, it's scary. He's not very good at recovering either. He kind of falls into the Little Mac, Dr. Mario uh, category, which is strange. You know, Dr. Mario is a doctor, but he can't recover himself. It's kind of, it's crazy. <laughs> it's really shoes, insane. Man. It's insane. He ain't, got the, he ain't got the Air Jordans, it's the shoes, man. Man, it's, it's not, yeah. It's crazy. But he's a doctor, he makes good money. Hopefully he'll get himself the shoes. Ooh, that won't do it. That will not do it. Or see, Cody knows a thing or two about Di. I think. I think he's a. Uh, he happens to be number one. So. <laughs> Di game strong. Di game is too strong. I really appreciate seeing uh, Roy. I don't see too many Roy's. I don't see t see too many of the DLC characters in general. So it's nice to just see this one, man. It's Roy's always been a fan favorite. You know why he's here. So Kari brought him back. It's time to get hyped, dude. <laughs> Man, I'm just watching this Meta Knight, man. This, this Meta Knight is crazy. You know, he's using Meta Knight like he's still Brawl Meta Knight. You know, it's like he's going to get in. He's going to punish you. He's going to take your air game away. That's what he wants to do. He knows Roy can't recover with ease. He knows that his, his recovery is just god awful. I, hey, hey, it's not, it's not that bad. You know, if you know how to use it, you can recover, right? I mean, he's no Little Mac, but it, it is hey, pretty he's, bad. He's, he's definitely not a Little Mac. He's no Little Mac. Mac Nation, I love you guys, but you know what Mac, Little Mac's recovery game is. It's it's trash can. You know, it's it's trash day, man. Game Genie playing very well. Trying to take the best off first. Unfortunately, I would not do it, man. That up smash, even as strong as it is, it's not going to take it. 
is not going to take it. Man, hey, he's, a, he's that kill percentage. With Roy, that, I mean, he can make it happen. He he's can a, take that Roy down. is that kill percentage, but also, Roy is also in, in rage percent, too. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Unfortunately, Pettibur has a match, guys, so looks like you're just stuck with me, but... Right now is a better time more than ever for me to work on my stand-up guys at home. What's up with airline food? Let me know. Nothing? Okay. Then we got my boy B Juice, Nasty Teriyaki Ranch. Sweeting rainbow. Brad, go ahead and tell these guys at home how you feeling today about this match, man. Man, I feel like Roy the boy needs to stop running away and get in there like he likes to be. Yeah, he has to. Because he's not, it's not working. No, it's not. He's not marked. He knows he's not marked. Genie knows he's not marked. See, that's what happened. And that's what that happened, game. unfortunately. That is he can't recover. Was that match two? No, that was match one. Oh, boy out. Unfortunately, as fun as it is to watch Roy play, we know what it is with his recovery, man. But if anybody can bring it back, it's my boy Game Genie. It's going to happen. Now Genie's pondering and what he should do. I think Pondre. he should go Bowser because I want to see Bowser. I want to see Bowser. Any, let's talk about your Bowser. My Bowser. Let's talk about how you beat Spanky Jr. My Randy. Bowser is basically Mayweather. <laughs> my Bowser is sticky until you it's over. <laughs> Your Bowser sound like he runs a lot. That's what happens when you're made. He don't weather. run though. That's the only difference. He's oh. standing there and he looks sicky. Oh my goodness. That's, that's more like Yu Hakusho. Ah. Uh. You, know, you know, with the knife fight and the demon <laughs> tournament, I was just standing there and sicky, bro. Come on, man. Go down first, though. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Here we are at Delphi Plaza. Personal favorite of mine. We got a dancing blade that was punished by a grab. I mean, you know what it is with dancing blade. It's just it's gonna happen. As much as I hate seeing him really run away like that, well, he's not running, but he's backing down. I have to, I have to commend Genie for learning how to fight while sliding backwards. That, oh, that's magical. Got his pivots. <laughs> his pivots are on point, man. But he does get it in there as soon as he gets that hit in. And I said earlier, you guys know that Genie doesn't do a lot of dodging. He might do an air dodge. He might do a spot dodge. But as far as doing a lot of rolls, that's just not in Genie's game. It's not in his game book. And, hey, he's on the PR. He's top five. You can't argue it. It's obviously worked for a reason, you know. Now, Genie, I'm not sure why he did this. I'm not sure if he's trying to get a kill off the up B early or what, but I don't know if you realize, but Meta Knight has an up air, up B combo. Oh, yeah. And that will completely rape him. Damn near guarantee for the most part. And he can fly, so the transitions aren't really helping. I'm not sure what Genie's thinking. Maybe just like the background. Yeah. I mean, the background is nice. It's nice to see a game from the uh, Nintendo GameCube redone, remastered on the Wii U. But, ooh, ooh, not to do it. You get too nice close to Roy, that's, that's what's going to happen. Like we said before, Genie wrote the book and he reads it to his reading rainbow. Right, take a look, guys. It's in the book. Butterfly in the sky. Or in this case, Meta Knight. <laughs> Don't touch that butterfly. No, do not. Don't let Meta Knight fool you. Even though he's been nerfed tremendously since Brawl, we know what it is. In order to be Meta Knight, you're going to have to do a lot of reads. But here we are. We got to grab. See, it's not enough to kill him, but it's enough to set up a combo and not to do it. And splash his face all over the screen. That's, like that's what it is. And first of all, buddy, the buff just stands for the transition. Oh! Skillager seems to just go for it. He doesn't care about none of that. He wants no, to don't. fight. And they, they didn't go mains this round either. You know, they're good comrades. I know what it is. They're friends even if they lose. You know, it just, it happens. I don't know. Genie might be a Roy main. He may not be a primary, but you know. Definitely secondary. It's it's a Meta Knight I don't want anything to do with. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I've known you've been one of the closer guys, one of the more fortunate guys to take stocks and games off of Cody, man. And you know, it's definitely a test of skill. Man, when you play Cody, you gotta play, bro. You gotta come to play, man. You gotta gear up, you know, it is what it is. There is no lacking. 